derivation of velocity time relation v is equal to u plus a t by graphical method. In order to derive, let us first draw a velocity time graph. Let's say the body is moving at an initial velocity u and accelerates to a velocity v. We will explain and derive the equation. Consider a velocity time graph where the body moves with uniform acceleration. That is why AB is a straight line. Now in this case as we see in the graph, the initial velocity of the body that is at point A is U which is OA graphically and final velocity at B is V which is BC. Let us say on the axis the point is C. Time taken moving from position A to position B is T which is OC. From the graph we know that BC is equal to BD plus DC. Now this can be written as BD plus OA since DC is equal to OA which is BD plus U. Now BC is nothing but V. So V is equal to BD plus U. So BD is equal to V minus U. Say this is equation 1. Now to find the value of BD, we need to find the slope of velocity time graph, which is nothing but acceleration termed as A. So slope of the velocity time graph is AB is BD by AD. BD by AD is equal to A, which means BD is equal to A into AD and AD is nothing but OC since AD is equal to OC. This is equation number 2. Let us continue the derivation. Now we know from the graph that Vd is equal to V minus U and Vd is equal to AT. Now equating the two, we will get Vd is equal to V minus U is equal to AT. Therefore, V is equal to U plus AT. This is called the first equation of motion. If we know the final velocity and initial velocity and acceleration, you can find the time taken, 